Alrighty, thanks guys for joining today. Um, so you've got myself, Flora Petty, joining from Ingram Micro to talk about Poly, and we've also got Craig Stewart, who is the other Poly BDM at Ingram Micro. Um, so today we're going to cover off a few different um, topics. Um, a lot of this is obviously spurred off of uh, the environment we're all currently working in, um, and some of the new ways of working and, and how we, I guess, tackle that. Um, and then we're also going to look at the different ecosystems that uh, users are using today um, and then what does the future hold for us. So uh, as I said, you've got myself and Craig who are the BDMs at Ingram Micro. Um, but sitting alongside us, we have got Danielle Robertson, who is our product manager, and Dale Barnes and Mike Prestige at Poly, who are the partner manager and SE respectively. So we've got a nice big team here to support you um, across all of New Zealand. So uh, new ways of working. Um, with this, I'm going to hand over to Craig. Cool. Thanks, Laura. Um, if you do have any questions throughout it, I will ask that we just hold them uh, to the end or we can take them offline because we are a little bit strapped for, for timing on this one. Um, just with a couple of other sessions. So, um, yeah, so new ways of working. So obviously with uh, the whole COVID-19 situation that we're that everyone's facing, it's obviously switched the environments on on how we work and the different ways that we work and, and still maintain uh, relevance with our customers and with our teams, right? So the first thing we found, uh, obviously we're on the forefront, on the front lines of it all, um, is a lot of businesses did uh, band-aid sort of work from home measures. And what I mean by that is, um, I'll use Ingram as a perfect example, right? As, as our, our leadership team said, come into the office on that last Monday before we went to lockdown and grab anything that you need to do your job, right? So that was screens, desktops, laptops, headsets, um, any cables that you need, uh, even to taking the chairs home um, to be able to work, right? Um, so that's what I mean by, by band-aid measures. Um, and with that, so organizations will still be working from home, um, obviously now that we're in level two, that we're, I mean, Ingram Micro for a perfect example, we don't go back to the office until the 2nd of June, so we're still doing that, and it's a staggered approach from there. Um, and that's obviously created a whole bunch of challenges with, with making do, right? So uh, making do with the default uh, audio devices that are built into the laptops, so the microphone and speakers, to the to the webcams that are built in. I mean, there they, they do a purpose, um, but it's not what you can get and how to maximize the, the satisfaction from your customers and your employees. Um, so a couple of questions arose out of that, which we sort of put our heads together and, and worked out is, how can you reduce costs as a business and increase employee satisfaction? Uh, and how does working from home support this? Um, and then the, obviously the, the main question is how do we enable our staff and customers to work from home? So um, jumping into the, the first one, how can you reduce costs and increase employee satisfaction? So there was a study that was done, um, this is kind of the gold standard of UC deployments. So um, the Stanford uh, did a study on Ctrip, which is a Chinese uh, travel company. So they had 16,000 employees working from home over a two year period. Um, to which they actually rolled it out to their entire base once they found. So, so what do they find from this study? Um, so one, they had less voluntary staff turnover. Um, they had a reduction in sick leave taken. Um, so this can be from anywhere from people that, you know, you can't go into the office because you've got a bit of a cold and you don't want to spread it around that way. So they have to take a full day off, right? Whereas I can still work from home. I may be a little bit sick, a little bit sniffly. My production might not be 100%, but it might be at 90%, right? So I don't actually have to take a full day off, which would be 0% productivity. Um, low operating costs, right? Your two main costs in a business is staff and, and real estate. So with less people in the office, that's less real estate that you need, right? It's less desks, less chairs. Uh, so again, that lowers, there's less lights to turn on. Um, and two of the more important ones for the satisfaction side of things is you actually had time back in the employee's personal and family lives. Uh, which is pretty invaluable. And there's also a cash injection back to the employees, right? So, I mean, people always raise their, their hands up and go, you know, I'd like a pay rise, please. Like, can I have some more money, please? Um, what they found with the study and work from home is, is they actually had more, more, more money for that. And I'll, I'll show you a local example. So we did it at Ingram. I was part of a um, culture assessment team two years ago, and we looked at this exact study, right? And we, we, we based our own... Um, uh, trying to find the right words. Uh, we based our own program around this to, to enable our staff to work from home. 
Um, so bringing it home as opposed to bringing it in China. So, so what did we find as Ingram Micro? So based on the average Auckland commute times of 40 minutes, right? as being stuck in traffic is over a year period, the, the employees and the staff members actually got 50 hours a year back. And that was simply just not driving to the office, right? So 50 hours a year was back to them for their personal lives, whatever they wanted to do. Um, on top of that, going back to the satisfaction is there's $500 a year in fuel savings, all right? That, that's $500 just giving back to the, um, our staff to say, look, do your job from home. Um, there was a 3.25% increase in productivity. So that may, that may not sound like a lot, but that's just saying, rather than coming to the office and doing your job, you stay at home and do your job, right? It was that simple. Um, there was a reduction in sick leave taken. Again, going back to that, um, I can't go into the office because it might be a little bit sniffly or I might have family members that I need to look after, right? Um, I can still monitor them while I'm, I'm productive at home. Um, a couple of good things, uh, a better attraction of younger and fresh talent coming into the workforce, right? So um, millennials and the Gen Zs that are coming in, they're looking for these, these flexible working arrangements. That they, you know, they can work from home, they can work from anywhere, they can go to a cafe and, and do their job. Um, and obviously the, the other points, uh, reduced operating costs, right? So less, less lights to turn on. And there's reduced hiring costs because there's not as many uh, volunteering staff turnover. So again, you're not having to look around for, for people. The next question is, is how do we enable our staff and customers to, to work from home? Um, we boiled it down to, to three simple things. Um, one is having the right device. Um, so for argument's sake, um, I'm a, a BDM, so I'm out in sales, I'm visiting customers and, and their customers and other, and other staff members and team members. So a wide headset doesn't, is not gonna suit me, right? Because I'm up, I'm mobile, I'm in the car, I'm going around, so being you know, tethered to a desk isn't gonna work for me, but it will work for someone else. So that's what I mean by the right device. Uh, the second point is it's got to be quality trusted technology. So there are um, other options out on the market that say, you know, Zoom compatible or, or Microsoft Teams compatible. Um, and I'll, I'll touch on why I'm, I'm using those two as an example. Um, it means they'll work with it, but they haven't actually gone through the, the length of the, the certification process from that, um, that collaboration platform where they actually go through and say, hey, we want it to be a good experience. We want things like the call controls to work so that it's answering and doing the calls, volume up, volume down and mute. Um, and the third point is it's got to be easy. Um, if you're anything like me, if I walk into a meeting room and there's keyboard and mice, three remotes, um, you know, and I have to unplug a whole bunch of things, plug it in, um, Sean, you're laughing there and nodding in agreement. Um, it's not going to be used, right? So that, that's waste of investment. As you, you've purchased a big room system and nobody's using it. So the point of it's got to be easy. It's it, you plug it in, you, you Zoom where your Microsoft Teams automatically recognize that it's a certified device and puts all your input and output. Same with the, car uh, the cameras and also with the room system. So being able to walk into a room and just push one button on a monitor and you're in, you're in your meeting. Right, so meetings start on time, people aren't mucking about, spending the first five minutes of, can you hear me, can you see me, can you do this, can you do that, let's unplug it, let's try it. So your productivity is higher because things start on time and they also end on time. So that's, all, that's what answered for those couple of questions. Um, so I'll jump into the ecosystems themselves. And I've got two slides just before I do um, about why poly, right? Um, so Plantronics and Polycom, uh, they came together uh, midway through last year um, under the new brand of Poly. And what that means from a, a support perspective and from a, a partnership perspective with our customers is we do the complete end-to-end, -end, right? So we're the only vendor that does. So we do personal devices, right? I need a headset, I need a camera. We, we do those, you're absolutely fine. Um, or you could do, I need a thousand of them. Awesome, we'll, we scale complete up and down and in between. Um, then we have shared in the group devices. So these are the, it's going to be in a, in a huddle room or in a boardroom or whatever it may be, from conference phones to cameras to room systems. So we, we do all that as well. And again, like I said, you can have a, a single huddle room space that, that we have an option for. And we also have options for up to you know, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 people boardroom and town hall. So we've got options one and completely through between. Then to back that up, we have our own video interrupt platform. So uh, I'll touch on the native uh, options that we've got, but they don't generally play nice with each other, right? So Zoom and Microsoft don't generally get along all that well. Um, so how do you, if, if you're using Zoom like we are now and say your customers on Teams or your customers on WebEx or whatever it may be, how do we get those platforms talking, right? And well, we've got options for that. And then 
you know, you've deployed one headset, you deploy a thousand headsets with a bunch of room systems. It's how do you manage it all? How do you make sure they've got the latest firmware? You know, the devices are actually being used. Um, they've got the right configuration and the right processes all, all put onto them. Um, we obviously back that up with our management platforms there. So it's a very powerful slide um, as to, to why Poly, right? And why the partnership works so well. Um, and then, boom, love this slide. Uh, we got this through yesterday. Um, our whole portfolio has had a refresh under the new Poly banner. So these are these are the nice, sleek-looking devices um, that are hitting hitting shores now. Um, a couple have been out for a little bit, but this is this is what we're looking at, right? So it's it's sleeker designs. It's much much more user-friendly. Um, they actually look good, so you're not sort of trying to hide them away on a desk. Um, so you're very very nice, very very powerful slides. I'll touch a little bit on these as we go through. So. The ecosystems. So I'll, I'll focus on the main two. Um, so that's Zoom and Microsoft Teams, um, basically because they're sort of 75, 80% of our New Zealand market. Um, but don't shy away from the, the other platforms as well. So uh, obviously 8 by Cisco Broadsoft, BlueJeans, 3CX, Amazon Chime and Google Meet, um, Access4, a couple of others. We play nicely with everyone. I don't like saying this, but it, it does encapsulate everything that we do is we are the Switzerland of UC endpoints, right? As we play nicely with everybody. I didn't coin it, don't give me credit for it. I wouldn't take it even if it did. Um, so let's look at Poly and Zoom, right? So uh, Poly and Zoom in partnership from, from days gone by, um, which have been predominantly uh, video based, right? I mean, obviously we're using it now and the, the video platform. So what, what we did is Poly is we, we've, you know, worked with Zoom and said, hey, well, let's do your room systems, but let's make it easy, right? So we're going to go back to that motif of being simple and being easy um, and being the right certified device, as, as, as you'll see. So, so the first uh, Studio X series um, is a new one that's just hit uh, over the last couple of months. Fantastic little device. Um, it's a video bar all in one. So it has your microphone, camera, and speakers um, all built into it, and that, that's it. That's that's all it is. There's no NUC. There's no PC. There's no anything extra to manage, right? That that's it. Um, you can get it with and without the little touchpad that you see there. So that again just elevates the meeting, allows you to leverage that simplicity that we've, we've developed by being able to walk into a room, push a button, and you're in your meeting, right? There's nothing to change. There's nothing to unplug. There's nothing, no remotes, no keyboards, no mice. It's it's literally that. As you walk in, it says. Yep, poly update at, at 12.30, thanks to, thanks to Sean. I click join and boom, we're, we're straight in there. Um, and then following on that motif of, of the native environment and, and being easy to use is we take that into a larger room. So the X series are sort of small and medium sized rooms and the G7500 in the middle is for your larger rooms. So again, we're still following that, that theme of one touch join, um, that familiar use with the, um, the, the interface, which I'll touch on after the Microsoft and why that's important. Um, and you walk in, you push join, and you're done. Um, and it also has the room integration. So if you've got, you know, ceiling mics or anything like that, and the G7500 is, is what you're going to be looking at. And then finally, we have the Poly Studio, which has been out for quite a while now, and it is our most popular video device. Again, we're following that motif of simple. So speakers, camera, microphone, all built into one. Um, but what you're getting with the, the studio, as well as through the, the X series and things, um, is you are getting uh, active speaker tracking. Uh, you're also getting group framing. And a couple of other nice little features, which have predominantly been from the Polycom side, have been enterprise level feature sets, right? So things that have always been aimed at that, that boardroom um, level quality, but also that boardroom level price point. Um, now we're bringing it down. I mean, the Poly Studio retails for you know, $1,600. Um, and it's USB, so no matter what platform that you use it with, whether it be Zoom, whether it be Teams, whether it be 8x8, 3CX, Google Hangouts, whatever it may be, is you're getting that enterprise feature set and it's following you through whatever platform you're using it on. So it's not a software-driven feature set, it's a device feature driven set. It's got a couple of other nice things. Um, it's got built-in Wi-Fi, so you're able to, to manage it across a corporate network. So simple things like the USB cables being unplugged, right? Um, there's no power to the device. Rather than having to actually run down to the meeting room and check it out, you can actually just log in and, and see that those um, specifications that way. So very, very nice little device, very powerful, um, very popular, very, very popular. So now going to Poly and Microsoft, again, a partnership that spans the test of time. Um, I won't give you exact dates, but I think it was in the 90s they started the partnership um, and we followed it all the way through. 
Um, Laura can quote me on that. Um, so again, following this, um, this, this right device, this, this trusted device and, and easy devices, is Microsoft turned around and said, cool, so, so Polly, how can we make it easy for our, our users, right? And, and you, you know, yourself and myself and using these devices. Well, for the wireless headsets, the something that I'm on here is I've got a dedicated Teams button. Right, so I won't do a lot I did in my last presentation, actually hang up the call, um, but I can push the button on the side of my headset and it will launch my Teams client and answer any calls or meetings that are coming through. Um, again, I've got volume control, so I can turn it up, turn down, I can mute, um, and I've also got a nice little charging stand there. So again, it's, it's the same experience, and this is what I went back to when I said with the Zoom, is it's the same experience as what I'm gonna get with my in-room systems, it's the same experience as what I'm gonna get on my mobile, it's the same experience as what I'm gonna get on my PC. And why that's important is if people are seeing the same interface and they're getting the same experience no matter what device they go into, the adoption of that technology is so much faster and that's just a faster return on your investment, right? So I went back to the, you know, the keyboards and mice sitting in a meeting room, no one's using it. Well, that's, that's wasted money, right? Wasted investment. So having a same familiar experience as you go through is just leveraging your investment and it's um, increasing the productivity for your, your employees and your customers because I can push a Teams button and it launches my Teams client. So it could be on my mobile and it could be on my PC. I don't have to go looking for the software. So that's what I mean by the, the ease of use. So then following that on with the headsets is we have our native audio conferencing units, right? Again, so following that same, it's the same look and feel no matter what room I walk into, no matter what device I use it on, is I know how to operate it, right? I can walk in, I can push join in my meetings and I'm in. Um, and then the same again goes for the desk phones. So we've got a couple of new desk phones that are out. Uh, very, very nice devices, uh, very powerful devices. The so Teams has um, historically been, or it still is, a very resource intensive operating system. Um, so Poly have upped the internals. So we are able to future proof for f upcoming uh, feature releases. So things like, uh, well, 12 months ago, it was the blurred backgrounds. Um, they're still looking to do things like that with the, the desk phones themselves. So again, uh, protecting our partnership with, with our customers and our partners, but also re protecting your investments um, for future. And then again, following on, there's a lot to do with Microsoft. Um, again, following off from that, we have our in-room systems. So we partner with um, HP globally, um, and all we also do on the, uh, the Lenovo ThinkPads, ThinkPads, ThinkHubs. ThinkPads. Um, and again, we, we just use our endpoints as the um, as the peripherals. So the hardware and all the, the components um, on the HP Slice are there to, to run the meetings and run the team software. And again, it's that same familiar interface. You can kind of see it on the screen there. Um, you walk in your meetings there, you push join, you're in. You push end, you're done. Um, and then again, we're following that same feature set that for the small rooms, so we've got the uh, studio, so active speaker tracking, group framing. Um, and then as we go to the bigger size rooms, well, we just use um, bigger and better devices. So you, you're still getting that, that great enterprise quality um, video and audio as you expand into the bigger rooms. Okay, moving on. I've got five minutes, Sean. Um, so the ecosystem interrupt, right? So again, this is what I went back to before. So um, me personally, the, the biggest conversation I have with uh, my partners and when I go out to see their customers with them is the conversation is we are moving to Teams, right? Or we are moving to Zoom. Um, they've gone from used to be on-premise video operating systems or Skype for Business or whatever it may be. And now they're moving to the cloud, right? But they say, you know, I brought this this you know, Poly Group 500 system, you know, 12 months ago, um, and I haven't um, swept my, I haven't swept the asset long enough, right, to be able to rip everything out and replace it with, you know, an HP slice with the, the peripherals on that. So this is where Poly Real Connect comes in, which is a cloud interop service. And what it allows you to do is to use that, you know, that standard space, um, SIP or H323 uh, hardware, but being able to talk with the latest Microsoft Teams. So again, like I said, it allows you to switch your assets, allows you to get your return on your investment for, for things that you've, you've got in your room. But to take that one step further, you've also got options to allow that interrupt between different ecosystems. So if you go native Teams, your Teams. So that works great if, if you internally are Teams and your customers are Teams and your customers' customers are Teams and everyone talks. Brilliant. 
But like I said before, what happens if you know, we're on Zoom as we are now, and then Laura sends me a, a Teams invite? Well, I can join on my laptop or I can join on my phone. That's great. But what if I want to leverage my in-room systems? Right? It, you just wouldn't be able to do that if you're in a different native experience. So um, what Real Connect gives you is it gives you that leverage, right? It allows everything to go up into the cloud and talk that way. Um, and you still get your one touch join. Uh, so again, like I said, easy walk in um, and push join. Cool. All right, Laura, you have three minutes to finish it off. <laughs> Thank you very much. No worries. We'll wrap it up. Um, so yeah, looking to the future. I mean, obviously we covered a lot of content today or Craig did um, and predominantly around those native Zoom and Teams environments. Um, but look, we're here to help you. Um, we have got these devices that we've covered and demo units. Um, we can have follow-up calls with yourselves or you know, your other internal teams if they want to hear more. Or if you've got any kind of specific um, you know, requirements or issues that you're, you're trying to overcome, just let us know and we're here to help. Um, so that's kind of where we are today. Um, you know, looking forward to tomorrow, um, you know, we've obviously got stock of all of these devices. Um, we've kind of planned for the future um, to make sure we've got a rolling stock holding of these um, devices as they have come under pressure with COVID. Um, but then I guess taking it one step further, um, once we're able to hit the road again and come see customers, um, we will quite literally be hitting the road in a car with these devices, as you can see on the screen there. Um, so we will have working um, demo units in the back of that. Um, we will be able to come see you, come see your customers, do a live demo, call back to um, either our office, your office, whatever that might be, and there will be a bonus of some uh, coffee and muffins there too for you. So um, yeah, look, we're here to help. Reach out to any of us. Um, we'd love to come and see you. We will have a booking system for um, the, the mobile showroom um, in the next couple of weeks, uh, which we will share some dates with you as well. So yeah, that's us. Um, obviously a lot of content, but yeah, here to help. Uh, thank you very much, both of you. Um, I appreciate that very much. So um, if a new partner wanted to come on board, it's best to get in contact with either of you and um, yeah, okay. That's Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. I'll, yep, I'll make sure good. your contact details are on the, the YouTube underneath it. Nice. Magic. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. Sean. Thank you, everyone. Um, like Thank I said, you. if there's any follow-up questions, um, we're stretched for time, so we're absolutely happy to go through a more deep dive. If you want to look at the video or the audio, um, we're more than happy to organize a separate session for that. Thank you very much, both of you. I'm going to end it there and move on to the next um, session, which is the uh, team from HP. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.